Tēnā kia koutou. A uh, big welcome to um, those in the public gallery, um, to Dr Griffin, to the media, um, and, and to councillors. Kia ora, Mike. Um, we have got a few apologies, but not as many as are listed on the order paper. So I think we've got an apology from Chris, um, an apology from Councillor Benson Pope, who's attending a funeral this afternoon. Are there any other apologies? If not, I'll put that all those in favour please say aye, aye. against it's carried um, public forum uh, welcome Abigail Kelly and Rebecca I understand you guys have been to aspiring leaders and you're here to tell us about it so come on forward <coughs> yeah. feel free to grab another chair um, from behind you And um, the microphones, you just have to push the button and pull them forward. So, yeah, that's the one. And, yeah, brilliant. Perfect. Um, well, first of all, thank you guys so much for letting us come here and speak with you today. Um, so just over a week ago, uh, we went to the Aspiring Leaders Forum up in Wellington, and that was an incredible experience. I'll just sort of start off by giving you, like, a brief overview of what the forum is, for those of you who don't know. Uh, so it's four days based up in... Sorry, <laughs> base up in Wellington. That's a lot louder. Great. <laughs> um, so it's four days up in Wellington, and we spend a day in Parliament getting to mix with MPs. Uh, uh, then the next few days are a mix of keynote speakers, seminars, a community service day, and a sports day. And as well as that, the overarching idea, um, I guess, sort of underneath the forum, is to try to get every delegate to really dig deep inside of themselves and look at their past, like how they got to where they are today, and try to develop what their story is, and you end up sharing that with a um, small group that you're paired with for the, for the entire forum, and it really is just an incredible personal development experience. I can't really compare it to anything else in my life. For me, I've had a very interesting um, life and I was blessed to have a year traveling overseas and I worked and traveled through places in the Middle East and Africa and I've always thought of that as being the most influence, influential moment in my life but after these four days which sounds quite hard to believe I'm not quite sure if I can say that anymore because of the intensity of really what the forum is so we'll probably each just go through a bit about what we got out of the forum and hopefully not bore you too long. <laughs> um, so for me, the Aspiring Leaders Forum was just an overwhelmingly extraordinary experience. Um, I gained a lot out of the conference, but I think the unique experience of being like submerged in open discussion with today's leaders and also tomorrow's leaders as our fellow delegates was just incredible and really unique. Um, so we spoke to quite a diverse range of leaders from politicians to people that have been knighted in New Zealand um, to people in our communities who are just following their passions and making positive change. Um, I personally enjoyed the speech from Trina Tamati the most. Um, she is a woman who has stood up for herself and fought for her vision of how the world should be from the age of about 16 when she ran away from home. Um, we also had the great privilege of forming some close bonds with our fellow delegates within small groups. Um, and we got to hear their stories and I guess the cornerstones of who they are and why they are doing the things they are today and how they want to lead in the future. Um, and yeah, I felt a sense of connection to each and every person at the conference despite a diverse range of backgrounds and identities and beliefs. And that's something which I think the conference has a really unique privilege of um, being able to share. Um, the environment at the conference was one of understanding, compassion and pride in who we are as individuals and of citizens of our collective communities. Um, personally, I realised that I believe successful leadership to be driven from a deep sense of love for ourselves and those around us and an unstoppable passion to improve our communities and keep working towards a better world. Um, the conference has given me even more inspiration to keep continuing my own passions in making our community a better place. Um, and in holding value in everyone and what they contribute to the community. Um, I'm extremely thankful for this opportunity I've been given and I look forward to applying to help facilitate the conference next year. So, 
thanks. Um, I'm just gonna, I don't have anything prepared like these guys, so I'm just gonna talk about my favorite part of the conference, and that for me was the community service. So every year they take the aspiring leaders, go out to this community called Stokes Valley, and they work on, they've worked on this valley since the forum started, and they're gonna work on this valley street by street until all the streets have had a taste of um, some of the young leaders helping out there. So on this street, I can't remember the street's name, but each small group got assigned a ha house and we all had to just work on this house, do things like cleaning out the rubbish um, behind the garage or painting the fence or cleaning the bathrooms um, and things like that. And that for me was really special. A big theme of the forum was to lead, first you must serve, um, and servant leadership which I think is really important. Uh, they wanted to really stress that leadership is not about power, um, it's really about the people and holding yourself accountable to the people, um, which is a thing that I strongly believe in. So that was really special going out to Stokes Valley, making a lasting impact um, for these, this community. A lot of these people um, have never had someone come in and help them like that before and they, it was really special. It's a really poor community. Um, so it was really nice and when I ran out of things to do for my house I ended up just playing with the kids out on the street. We ended up playing football out on the street and that was a really great time and the family that we were working with stayed inside the whole time and my facilitator Jeremy went up to them at the end and um, the man was crying and he said, oh why are you crying? And he said, I just can't believe that a lot of Pakihas would come and clean up our street and play with our children like this. I think it's just amazing. How can I help out next year? And so that's just one example of how things that we were doing were inspiring other people to help next year. And that was really, really special. That was my favourite part. Cool. So um, for me, um, when I found out I was going to the forum, I was incredibly excited. I'm a big politics nerd and I knew I was in Parliament, so I, was, I couldn't wait to go. But um, despite that, I had absolutely no idea what to expect. Uh, we were given an overview of what we'd be doing and um, some of the speakers we'd be listening to and that was like incredible and I knew we'd be faced with a lot of inspiration and uh, we'd receive a lot of like real life skills and advice um, and that would be brilliant and we did. But as I mentioned before, definitely the most incredible um, outcome from this forum was the personal development that um, myself and every other delegate um, underwent. It, it's really difficult to articulate how and why that happened. Um, on the first day, Tawaka McLeod, who is the ALF manager, um, said simply to trust the process. And I didn't really know what she was referring to at that point, but it just makes perfect sense. Um, through the careful collection of speakers and the seminars, I remember one seminar, we learned how to make poetry, which sounds quite random, but that, that was probably one of the most um, inspiring moments of my life, um, which is, again, just sounds quite ridiculous, but as a result of the forum, I feel so much more sure of myself. I've always been a very confident person, and I've always sort of known what I'm going to do and where I'm going to go, but there's always been, uh, I don't know, it, just after this, I feel so much more content in my being, and it's given me a much greater was reaffirmed my belief in integrity, I guess. Um, integrity is my most valued belief. And along with that, it has definitely driven my passion for um, serving the community, going back to the um, servant leadership um, aspect. Like my entire life, I've, been always, I've always been very involved in the community. Um, I've, like at the moment, I'm involved with several different um, nonprofits in the area, and. I have been throughout my entire time in Dunedin and back in Wellington, but I've never really quite known why. It's just something that I believe in. I believe um, that end of the day, to be a moral, um, well-rounded individual, you really do need to serve the community and understand um, where everybody else is coming from. So having this experience has really just reaffirmed that and given me access to a, a bunch of like-minded individuals and made me realise that even though I don't know exactly why I do all these things other than just to follow what I believe to be right, it's just like, and also meeting people like Kelly and Abby um, just makes me feel a lot more grounded and that I am on the right path. 
and that I need to continue doing what I do and believe to be right. And yeah, just, I don't know. It's really <coughs> difficult to articulate um, the experience that we went through, but it was absolutely invaluable. Oh, look, thank you guys very much for coming in and sharing that with us. I think you did a good job of articulating it, and clearly it was a really um, important thing for all of you. So yeah. I'm glad that you got so much from it. Um, you guys happy to take questions if there are any? Yeah. yeah. Are there any questions? Lee. I was just wondering if there was any particular reason that Stokes Valley was chosen. It's quite a way out of Wellington. I think it's just because it was one of the um, lower decile areas. Um, I actually grew up near Wellington and I actually know quite a few people from Stokes Valley. Um, I was wondering whether or not we'd bump into any of them. But yeah, I think it is just for the fact that it is um, very low decile um, and also it's an area where you can um, see the change because every year the forum will work on a different street that is connected to the street that they worked on the previous year. So their goal is to, over the course of the lifetime of the forum, to hopefully change um, and work in every um, neighbourhood, in every street in Stokes Valley. And you can start to see that um, if you drive through the area, drive through the streets where they've worked on the previous year. You can, it's just all connected. So the fact that it's a relatively small town, so it is realistic to try to achieve that um, ambition. And yeah, there's, okay. thank yeah, you. Needs help. Awesome. All right. Well, look, thank you, um, Kelly and Abigail and Rebecca. Um, is that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> for coming in and um, yeah, taking time out of your day to share that with us. Yeah. And well, thank you guys so yeah. much for this experience. Like, you can't say that enough. <laughs>